day. What it up? Welcome to a brand new day. Welcome to a brand new video on this channel, Ton Adventurous Thomas. Or should I say, You Die Wishes Adventure Fam. Um, you die are so great. I can't think you die enough. You die are amazing. Let's keep, let's keep it going. Um, let's keep it going. Let's in a way. You die leave them suggested on what videos you want me to film. Challenges, vlog, day trip, activity, you know, just name it. Just leave it down below and I will get to it. And um, you die might say, what, what are you wearing, Thomas? I'm like, oh well. Um, so this video is going to be a little flashback, throwback to a time obviously you already know because of the title but and a thumbnail let's just say just let me just say that way the best day ever flashback to the best day ever um i had many best day ever but this is definitely on the top three this is definitely on top three don't do me wrong um so before we get into this video of what you I want to do and why I'm wearing this shaft it. Let me tell you something that I want you to do. Adventure fam, if you are brand new to the channel, hello, my name is Tommy and I'm we're here to have some fun. We're here to live life to the fullest. Enjoy life and be happy at the same time. And if you die on returning back to my channel make sure you hit that subscribe button down below which is right here and hit that bell notification because die you do not want to miss a post of this die life because you just don't I have plenty of stuff up my sleeve I literally have idea up my sleeve not really but you know the, you know the metaphor I have so many ideas. You guys will leave so many more ideas. So, let's get to this. Um, give this video a big thumb up because it will be the best day ever. And I'm sure some of you, when you're watching this, you might cry. You might shill really loud. You might get shell. And I don't, you might be happy. So, where should I start? Oh, one more thing. Comment down below what sport that you played. And also, comment down below what would you like me to, to do in the next month, in the next week, in the next five months, six months. What video idea do you want me to film? Or where do you want me to film? Better yet, comment down below. Alright, with all that weight stuff out of the way, let's get into the best day ever of mine. So, I don't think many of you know this, but when I was in high school, or should, um, I was a swimmer. That was like my main boy, I was a swimmer. I did water polo, I did all that. Anything with water, I pretty much did it. Out of the water, before that, I would, I play basketball, doctor, and I think that hit. Just those three. So, but my main thing was swimming and water polo. Those were the two top ones, and I loved them both. And for this video, then it is taught the best day ever. You might wonder why it is the best day ever. Well, let me just tell you. I went to fail for it, doing, and their rival, their biggest rival, they had a tuple, but the biggest one is like Penfield and Pittsburgh. And let me just tell you that. Pittsburgh and Fairport were the biggest rival 
for boy and Dale for swimming. Um, we would, we are just the biggest rival. It's always a biggest meet when we face these, two, when these two teams face, well, these two. When my team and this team face each other, it's always been the meet. Um, it's always, it's tough. You gotta go out there and you gotta really swim like you have not swim before. Um, but so for like 10 or 12 years, Pittsburgh already beat us. And my, uh, when I was a junior, I, my teammate and I really, really so bad, we really wanted to beat Pittsburgh. And we said, this is the year to do it. So we practiced so hard that year. Over the summer, off season, in season, we were ready. We practiced. We practiced hard. Like we did some tough practice to get us ready for this moment. And guys, let me just say, I think you guys know what um, what's gonna be the outcome. But I want you to watch this video that I'm gonna react to and show you. And so, with that being said, and all that bad history, let's get right into the rivalry of Fairport and Pittsburgh, my junior year, and um, let's get right into this. Um, I might, you might see me happy at the end. You might see me maybe have watery eyes, share with that. It literally was the best day. I. I can't even tell you how many times I watched this video that I'm about to show you and I did the same reaction all the time. I just show up my body. It's just oh it it's the best. I I love it. I love this video. Pittsburgh haven't lost a boy swim meet of Monroe County since two thousand and three. That was 84 wins ago to Fairport at home, and it looked like it might happen again. We were short probably seven or eight points, and when you're short points, you do some extraordinary things, but we're fortunate to have the uh, versatility within the lineup. Indeed, depth was the calling card for both teams. Well, I knew it was going to be tough. It takes 12 events, and we stress for the kids since March of last year. It's 12 events. You know, we got the utmost respect for Pittsburgh. We knew that they're strong in every event, and we can't get everyone away. We got to all go together as a family and come in here and work together. In the 200 IM, Pittsburgh's Matthew Tantric finished first, with Fairport's Alex LaPointe Ed Shea Ransford for second. David Howard won the 50 as expected, but Raider teammate and senior Sam Bryce made it a 1 2 sweep, who gave Fairport a 32 to 30 lead heading into the diving. Dylan Marin won. The Panthers finished 1-2 with Sam Randall as expected, but the Raiders minimized the damage with third and fourth place finishes. The decisive races took place after the break. Fairport finished 1-2 in the fly. Evan Zhang won. They restored the Raiders' two-point lead. I knew that was a big race to begin with, and my teammate Alex to that second place finish. Once we, I saw him, we went one two. I knew the beat was in our control. So it was a really big race for both for the both of us and for the whole team. 
Fairport's momentum was halted by an unexpected Pittsburgh win in the 200 relay. Coach told us that was if we were gonna win a relay, that was the one we needed to win, stand to meet. So it was really exciting to do it. And by throwing a free relay, I thought we would win that. So I thought, well, that was a turning point right there. And uh, at that point right there, I knew it was gonna be the last three events were gonna be really critical. But every, every summer match. You know, that whether you get fifth place or sixth place, I mean, that's a point here, a point there, I'll get every event matters. There were just three events left. Pittsburgh led 72-68. Charlie Morales won the backstroke for Fairport. The Raiders finishing 1-3-4. Pittsburgh's Tanchik won the breast, but Fairport's Adam Cloutier and John Holden played second and third place finishes. The back and the breast were pretty the back key for it. huge coming out, coming out of that 200 feet relay where Fitz had a lot of emotion, a lot of momentum. And then that back stroke really threw the back towards us. And that brush stroke was great too, going two, three. The meet was tied 86 86 for the last event, the 400 relay. It was winner take all. <laughs> a champion. The Panthers posted their best time of the year in the relay, but they found themselves behind as P.J. Ransford fought desperately to catch Morales. Fairport had snapped the streak. Amazing. It was the best of my entire life. This is my dream. I've been wanting to win this meet for so long. As long as I can think about it, all of this season I've been thinking about this meet. And I'm just glad that we can swim here and do it today. 94-92 is the final score. The margin of a fourth versus fifth place finish in any of the ten individual events. That's the way a meet goes. It's not anyone's fault. You, you put the you put the kids in, you let them swim, you let them compete, um, and I, would, I was extraordinarily proud of uh, not only their performance, but their demeanor. It was the most exciting event of its kind in these parts in years. Charlie and I, we've been on the same swim team since we were like six years old. And it's been our dream to just be here and to be a senior and the captain of the team and finally dethrone Spitzraya. It's like, if you already can't even like it put into words. <laughs> I'll tell you a bunch of fam. I hope you enjoy my reaction and the video that I would reacting to every time I watch this video I literally do the same thing I I get chill I literally have chill right now and then at the toward the end as you die song how I reacted I don't know um, this is why this was the best day ever. This, well, I hit that in the beginning of the video. This spent a long time coming. And it mentioned how long Pitford had been winning us and how many wins they had against us before this time. So it definitely was a long time coming. So when we, when it, this actually happened and we came out with the W. Let's just say it was the best 
day ever, the best weekend ever. It, like this, this team that I had during this, this was probably the best team. We, we were a family. We were that close. We all, we were so happy at the end of this meet. We were happy that it was over, happy that we won, and happy that we got to be, leave that hot pool area. It was hot in there um, because it was literally like, it was so packed with people in there. There was Fairport fan, Pittsburgh fan, the, the, the swimmers who are swimming the meat. The Toshin, alumni, there were like ton of alumni. Alumni actually came out to watch this meet. It was just the craziest time when the outcome of this meet was in our hand and we won. It literally, oh, uh, this one part that I want to talk about, the last relay when it said that we were tied. We were literally tied down into the last relay, and let me just tell you this. Before that last relay started, it was probably so quiet until the women were in the water. Then all the children were happy, but it, it was like silent. It was quiet. We would all probably were thinking the same thing, you know, like, we're tired, we're tired, we're tired. We got there. We got the, it, it's just amazing when we found out that we won. Like we only won by two, but that is still a huge tournament after that meet. That was intense. It was very intense. And I'm glad that I, I'm glad that I experienced that. I'm glad that I experienced it with the best team a family team. We were literally a family. That, and you can probably tell how slow we were. We were definitely slow. And it was just probably all of our best day right there. It was amazing. It was amazing. But with that being said, that's all I have for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give the bit, video a big thumb up right now. If you ever had a experience like this with a rivalry or anything like that, because I'm sure there's many stories like this. Um, I'm sure football had them, I'm sure basketball had them. You know, just throw the big thumb up if you had a rivalry like this and you came out with the W. It, it was just the best. Let me just tell you that, it was the best. But with. All that being said, let um, the all I have for you today. But don't worry, because we post three times a week, so stay tuned. Make sure you have that bell notification. Leave a comment of any video idea you want me to film, talk about anything, and where I should film. Any fun video idea that you have. I have done mine, but I'm always up for you guys to share because I do this for you guys, Adventure Fam. And with that being said, remember to enjoy the little thing in life. And when you have an opportunity like this, go after it. Work hard, go after it. This has been a long time coming, and we finally did it. We, we, we snapped that three. They won 83 wins in a row at that time. And we said no more, we're winning, and we did it. We snapped the three, which was the best new devil. It, it was so, it was so good. And remember to enjoy life, have fun, and remember tomorrow is not promised die. And we will see you die in the next video. Bye!